We will follow up. 705 right now with more cases of monkeypox detected across the islands. We're learning about the signs and symptoms to look for. Dallas on Tavares joins us live from the Straub Medical Center on King Street with all your details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. And here still hanging out with us all week of today is Dr. Brian Pien with Hawaii Pacific Health. Doctor, thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me, Dallas. So we've been answering, or excuse me, you've been answering a lot of our questions when it comes to monkeypox and also what you've seen so far. But something that we saw with COVID was with pets catching COVID. So can mm -hmm. our pets catch monkeypox too? Uh, it is possible for, for animals to get it. In fact, some of the initial cases of monkeypox were contracted from infected prairie dogs and, and uh, rodents from Central and West Africa. Uh, so it is always possible to, for humans to spread it to their animals. So in the, in the patients that I've treated who had pets, I usually advise them to just try to keep their distance a little bit from their pet, not get too close with them, at least until all their skin lesions have healed. Interesting. Okay. And you know what? We're actually right across the Blaisdell Center. A heads up for everyone. There is going to be a couple vaccination events happening this weekend. You can check our website, khwin2.com, on how to sign up for an appointment. We'll also have an interview with the Department of Health coming up in just a few minutes. Minutes. But Dr. Brian Pien, um, is there any other form of treatment besides the vaccine that's being offered now? Yes, Dallas. There's an antiviral medication called tocoviramat, also known as TPOX, that's felt to be safe and effective. It's approved for smallpox and available through the Department of Health for patients with confirmed monkeypox. Okay, so you have to have monkeypox in order to get that type of medication. That's correct, because the supply is scarce and is not fully FDA approved for monkeypox. And just finishing up this interview right here, with your experience treating patients with monkeypox, is there anything that you would like to let our viewers know moving forward on how we could just keep ourselves safe? Mm. Yes, Dallas. So right now the case numbers are relatively low. We want to keep it that way. We want the public to to be aware of some of the signs and symptoms of monkeypox and to contact their healthcare provider. Uh, if there's a concern about them having mon monkeypox so that they can get tested and referred in for treatment. Dr. Brian Pian, thank you so much for hanging out with us on Wake Up Today. You're still going to be with us in the next half hour, but if you want some more information as to what we know so far and also how to rewatch all these interviews today, you can visit our website later on at khwin2.com. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas and Barrows, K 2 News, Wake for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. 708 and coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with another live look at the roads and more on the return of the trades. Plus, remember that refund that the state was supposed to give us?